Today, let's make madeleine with New York Marm Caramel, a classic French pastry with a Vietnamese twist. Madeleines are super easy to make, they're delicious and perfect to share, whether as a picnic snack or paired with an afternoon coffee or tea. Salted caramel, or caramel au beurre salé in French, is an addictive delicacy originating from the Bretagne region. It is sweet, creamy, and just a little salty, which balances and brings out the sweetness even more. In this Vietnamese twist, the saltiness will be coming from fish sauce instead of salt. We are using our favorite, red boat fish sauce. Make sure you use a quality fish sauce, which has no additives that can ruin your flavors, just anchovies and salt. Now I know that the idea of a fish product in your dessert may sound strange, but the amount of fish sauce we are adding is just enough to bring the beautiful umami flavors without overpowering the caramel. The fish sauce caramel gives the madeleine an upgrade and a boost of flavor that makes them super irresistible. Let's get started. For the madeleine, you will need flour, sugar, eggs, butter, milk, and yeast. For the fish sauce caramel, you will need fish sauce, sugar, heavy cream, and butter. Optional, but when serving, you can sprinkle some flaky salt. First, in a large mixing bowl, we are going to add our four eggs. Then we are going to add the sugar and whisk until well combined. Add the milk and whisk again. Now we're going to add the flour, whisk in about one third of the flour until fully combined. I am not showing it on video here, but I recommend sifting your flour through a metal strainer beforehand to avoid lumps. Whisk in half of the remaining flour. Then whisk in the rest. At this point, the batter is getting thicker and thicker and you're getting an arm workout. Now add in the baking powder and whisk well. Finally, we are going to mix in the butter that we have previously melted in the microwave. Once the batter is smooth, cover the mixing bowl and place it in the fridge for at least 2 hours. Of course, you can prepare the batter the day before and keep it in the fridge overnight. Once you're getting ready to bake your madeleine, butter or oil and flour the madeleine mold. As I am French, I am going to butter the mold. I recommend to use a brush to even out the butter if you have one. Here I'm going to flour my mold using a metal strainer. To remove any excess flour, I'm going to tap the mold over the sink. 
Et voilà. Take your batter out of the fridge and place it in a piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag, you can alternatively use two spoons to shape and place the batter in the madeleine mold. Here I'm going to show you both options. Pipe the batter in the mold, about 2 to 3 tablespoons of batter per madeleine. Here I am placing the batter using the two spoon method. Place the mold in your oven, preheated at 200 degrees Celsius, 390 degrees Fahrenheit. As soon as the door is closed, reduce heat to 170 degrees Celsius, 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake the madeleine for 15 minutes or until they are lightly golden. Take the madeleine out of the oven and place them on a plate to cool down. It is very easy to remove them from the mold thanks to the butter and flour. Now we're going to make our special ingredients, the fish sauce caramel. To a pot, add the sugar and water and heat on medium. You don't need to stir the pot. After a few minutes, the mixture will start bubbling. Keep cooking on medium temperature, swirling the pot occasionally until it turns an amber color. As soon as you get the right color, whisk in the butter until fully melted. Remove from heat and slowly pour in the heavy cream while whisking. Finally, whisk in the fish sauce. Let the fish sauce caramel cool down to room temperature, then transfer to a bowl for serving or to a glass jar for storage. When you're ready to serve, pick up a madeleine by the smaller side and dip the large side into the caramel sauce.
Before serving, I recommend sprinkling some flaky salt. See how glossy they are? Bon appétit! Mm. The fish sauce really brings some umami flavors. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and visit mmbonappetit.com for more Vietnamese and French recipes.